For over 40 years, National Crime Victims' Rights Week has challenged our criminal justice system to support victims of crime by alleviating the hurdles that prevent them from achieving justice. It is not only a time to look back and reflect on the many achievements we've made, but to take the opportunity to continue ensuring and protecting victims' rights. Victims' Rights Week over the years has remained an opportunity to not only raise awareness about violent crime and murder in our community, but to also give friends and family a chance to remember and cherish the life of their loved ones whose time on earth was cut short. For the third year in a row, Victims' Rights Week will look different than it has in the past. The COVID-19 pandemic prohibited us from gathering as we did before. The candlelight vigils we held in the past must be planned several months in advance. And with the unpredictability of the pandemic, we were not able to hold them again this year. However, providing a time to remember those lost by violent crime remains important to us and close to my heart. Personally, there are victims and their families that I have met under the unfortunate circumstances of them being a victim of violent crime or losing a loved one. Victims' Rights Week is a time that I can pause and remember them. We want to provide this same opportunity to our community members. This year, we're doing so by conducting daily events during the week virtually and providing private time for the public to visit our victim memorial wall, which serves as a location for friends and family to view their loved one's name and leave beautiful photos and a heartfelt message. We have maintained our commitment to ensuring that a victim's voice will be heard. My name is Melissa Donaldson, and I'm the Director of Victim Services here in the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. Today marks the beginning of National Crime Victims' Rights Week 2022. I would like to share what virtual events we'll be putting on for the community. Tuesday, we start with a new program called STORIES. It stands for Stories Told or Read in Empowering Spaces. The mission of STORIES is to empower those impacted by trauma by using art and to raise awareness through the power of storytelling. There'll be an exhibition throughout the week showcasing survivor art. Wednesdays, we're bringing awareness to the impact sexual assault has on victims and our county. We're partnering with Riverside University Health Systems, Molina Healthcare, and the Safe Family Justice Centers to host a broad drive for sexual assault survivors. Evidence collection during a sexual assault exam is a crucial part of the forensic medical examination and usually includes keeping undergarments for the biological evidence that can be found on them. The purpose of this multi-agency broad drive is to have the ability to provide a replacement broad of the victim when the exam is completed and also to bring awareness. On Thursday, you're going to see our fabulous facility dog, Canine Rachel. You will see and hear about the amazing work she does with the abused children we serve. The comfort she provides to the children in court helps them cope with the trauma they have endured and helps them tell their story. We end the week by honoring and memorializing those who have tragically lost their lives to crime by sharing each and every name. We know being a victim of a crime can be catastrophic to you and your family. Here at the Riverside County DA's office, we strive to not only hold those who commit crimes accountable, but also to provide victims of crime with resources, support, and guidance as we help families navigate the criminal justice system. A victim's voice will be heard.